tonight on our final episode of this series of nzboatshow.tv. Lawrence shows us around and marvels at the amount of space on the amazing Lagoon 42 catamaran. Technology has come a long way in sail design over the last few years. We visit North Sails to find out more. Being a member of Coast Guard is one of the easiest and cheapest things you can do to keep yourself safe on the water. We'll have Club Marine TV, where Paul is going to give us tips on trailer wheel maintenance. And much, much more on nzboatshow.tv. I'm Lawrence from Boating New Zealand and this is the new Lagoon 42. She's just arrived in the country. Uh, it's a very impressive vessel. It's become, I suspect, one of the most popular of Lagoon's catamarans. Okay, so this is the helm station on the 42 and uh, like most of these catamarans, they've got plenty of visibility. They're a pleasure to sail. As you can see everything. This cat is particularly well set up in terms of its sail controls. Um, you'll see that all the lines come back from the various uh, sails to this area over here. So if you are shorthanded sailing, it's very easy to stand up and uh, adjust your sheets over here without having to move too far. It's made even easier by the fact that we've got electric winches here, two electric, two electric winches, one uh, for the main sheet, uh, two speed winches, and the others for your jib sheet. A lot of boats or a lot of catamarans with a superstructure over your head like this you can't see the top of the mast and so when you want to go and see what the wind indicator is doing you usually have to step outside and have a look this one you've got a clear wind over here and it's uh, it's very very easy to see what's going on up, up there now, there's an old adage about uh, sailboats it says that the ideal boat is one that uh, sleeps too it takes two or four to sail and can seat eight to ten, as in a party. And this boat fits that description exactly. Um, as you can see from this lounge, it's enormously spacious. You could have a party here with eight to ten people quite comfortably. Okay, like most uh, Lagoon catamarans, this one is available in a variety of different configurations. Uh, this one is set up for what is called the owner's cabin uh, and that is the entire starboard hull is set up as a single uh, cabin with a bathroom en suite. What I particularly like about this configuration in addition to the space obviously is that you have a, an option to go with the privacy here. If you want to shut off the rest of the vessel from your master suite They've got this very nifty cool door which closes down like this and it keeps you completely separate and private from the rest of the crew. So this is the master cabin and master suite. Um, it's got a very nice island double bed, uh, fairly spacious. They've got a little city uh, which you can see where you can sit and relax. They've also got what could be a desk, it could be uh, a makeup vanity sort of area for the missus. It's effectively a dressing room, I think, uh, more than anything else. It's got lots of, of space and storage. Yeah. So this is the uh, bathroom uh, on the starboard side. It's the master suite bathroom. And unusually again, I guess it's a function of the space, they've managed to create a completely separate shower. A vanity over here and an electric toilet. Uh, again, more space than uh, you typically find on a 42 foot vessel. Right, so this is the port hull on this 42 catamaran and uh, it's divided into two cabins. An aft cabin, which is a nice big island double bed and it uh, has got its own ensuite. Again, a very nice spacious one. And here is the last uh, cabin on this vessel. Um, it is this port forward cabin, a little bit smaller than the aft cabin behind you. 
Uh, the other thing that you'd be interested in is that this vessel is entirely plumbed for air conditioning. Uh, you can see the unit over here. Um, so irrespective of the conditions, whether it's steamingly hot or freezing cold, you've got an air conditioner uh, which will cater for every single cabin separately. Coast Guard is the Bodie's best mate, so it's about time you joined. So Coast Guard are the boaties best mate. Uh, in simple terms, if you get into trouble on the water, it's Coast Guard that are watching your back. So we'll be there to come and help you. So becoming a member of Coast Guard is really important to keep yourself and your mates and your family safe on the water at all times. I think there's a widely held misconception that Coast Guard is part of government, is a fully funded government department. And of course we're not, we're a charity and we are staffed by thousands of volunteers. So one of the big messages to, to the, the boating population of New Zealand is, if you want to stay safe on the water, support the organisation that is going to support you and get what's your backs, and that's Coast Guard. We're a charity and we need your support if we can come and support you. It's really a lot of confidence for me that there's someone out there who's watching out for me. We had difficulty with our engine getting it started. Sat for a little while and thought, bugger. Coast Guard are listening around the clock. Told them where we were and what had happened and got us sorted. If you become a member of Coast Guard, essentially you have peace of mind. So if you become a member of our, our membership scheme, you are entitled to three free non-urgent assists every year. So that might be if you uh, have an engine failure or you run out of fuel. So we would come and get you. So th these are non-life-threatening situations. But we would come and get you. Now, if you're involved in a life-threatening situation, whether or not you're a member, then Coast Guard is going to come and get you, if it possibly can. But the benefit, the real benefit of a Coast Guard membership is that you get those three free non-urgent assists anywhere in the country. We volunteer so that we can go out in the water and help people. Whether we're helping someone who's a very experienced body with a bit of mechanical difficulty or a new body who's got themselves into some serious trouble. To become a member of Coast Guard, you visit the website. Go to www.coastguard.nz and follow the links there to become a member. Uh, you can even select what part of the country you do your boating in and go as far as selecting the Coast Guard unit that you'd like to support via your membership. Becoming a member of Coast Guard is probably the best $115 a year you can spend as a, as a boater. If you think what a, a tank of fuel will cost you, what a new PFD, a life jacket will cost you, $115 is real chicken feed. And what you get from that is absolute peace of mind that you're su supporting the organisation that supports you. I use the Coast Guard app quite regularly, it's got good weather on it. If there's a problem at all, it doesn't matter how big or small, you know, we're your mates out there. Coast Guard, they really are your best mate out on the water. It's just knowing that if you do have an issue, you can call up, someone's going to be there. We are the people you call when you're in trouble. We'd sooner come and see you straight away than avoid a situation later. Well, Coast Guard are the mates that you have out there on the water. Yeah. And it doesn't matter where you go. There's mates there. Ford made a great car. Mag and Turbo made it my car. For 30 years, Boating New Zealand has delivered the best local coverage of launches, trailer boats and yachts with local boats and local conditions. Boating New Zealand from shops, supermarkets, service stations and subscription. Subscribe for the super low price of $87 and get 12 copies of New Zealand's number one boating magazine plus get free access to the online version of the mag. Download the boating magazine app now from iTunes or Google Play free on tablet, computer and phone. Subscribe now for this very special offer. Go to our website or ring 0508 692 628 to subscribe now. If you love watching nzboatshow.tv, then we have a prize for you. Go to nzboatshow.tv slash 2016 Coast Guard, register with your email and mobile, and be in to win one year's free Coast Guard membership courtesy of nzboatshow.tv. Tristram Marine, home of New Zealand's largest boat showroom and manufacturing plant. Tristram Boats. Powered by Yamaha. Designed and crafted in New Zealand for all your offshore adventures.
visit tristramboats.com. Ford made a great car. Megan Turbo made it my car. Now to Club Marine TV, where Paul is going to give us those tips on trailer wheel maintenance. Just like you'd service your car, it's very important you service your boat trailer and look after it because maintenance is the key. If this wheel falls off and you're doing 100 kilometres an hour, it is not a good look and there's a lot of things you can do to make sure that is not going to happen. First of all, always run your tyres at nice hard pressure and check what the PSI should be. These are actually light truck tyres, so I should run these at 65 PSI, nice and hard, and I'll always get a good ride. The bearings inside here, nothing worse than doing a bearing on a trip. If you get a jack under there and spin the wheel, if it spins nice and smooth, your bearing's normally okay. If you've got a bearing problem, you'll actually hear a bit of a crunching noise and it'll start to wobble. What I do, I take it straight to the mechanics because what he does in five minutes would take me a week. Yes, the best tool in my toolbox, it's a checkbook, but it does the job. I get my bearings checked at least every 12 months and if there's even the slightest sign there's a problem, they're out, the new ones are in. Bearing buddies are fantastic. You pump them full of grease, it keeps those bearings nice and greased. And these little dust covers here, they stop water from getting in, stop the bearing grease from going all over your hubs, and of course stop dirt and grime going in there as well. And what I've actually done is put a cable tie around the dust cap, because if you don't, they tend to fly off on the road and you're forever buying new ones. When it comes to tyres themselves, the biggest killer of tyres is sun, that UV. So try and store your boat trailer, with the boat on it of course, in a garage or undercover. If you can't, just lean something up against the tyres so the sun is not on them all day. And then of course, tread. Get yourself a little tyre indicator like this, drop it in there, spin it around. I can tell you that they are just about on the edge of going. I reckon I might get a few more trips out of these, and it's time for new tyres as well. I hope all this helps. Make sure you spend the time to look after your trailer, because if you do, it'll look after you. This has been Paul Wessling for my good friends at Club Marine. Sales are one of the leading designers, manufacturers and suppliers of sales in the New Zealand market. So North Sales has been uh, in Auckland since 1978. Um, the company's obviously developed quite a lot over those years. It was pretty small to start with and now it's become one of the you know, main players in the global sale making scene really. Pretty big operation. We moved here about six months ago from our location down at, in the Viaduct. So um, we're finishing sales anything from Optimus right up to, to Super Yachts, you know, sales that weigh over a ton and, uh, and anything in between. So um, yeah, it's, uh, there's 30 sale makers out there just constantly working, building sales. There's three shifts, so the place runs almost 24 hours a day just to keep up with the, with the workload. Racing boats buy a lot of sails, you know, every every couple of seasons, well basically every season they're replacing two or three sails, keeping the inventory going. You know, a race boat can have 10 to 12 sails in its inventory, so it's a, it's a lot. Probably for us it's a real mix, we do a lot locally of small boats and cruising boats. Um, probably the, the main uh, kind of earner for the company would be Super Yachts and, and Grand Prix. So a lot of um, you know, TP-52s, the, the Maxis, Mini Maxis, all that real high-end uh, race boat. And, um, and super yachts. So the steady stream of super yacht sales come out of this loft. Norse were the pioneers of the computer age with sail design. So it was actually, that was done in New Zealand by Tom Schnackenberg, who was you know, heavily involved in America's Cup. So he, um, he you know, was the first to do the, the computer modeling and actually you know, design, you know, design sails in the computer, have a mold shape in the computer and then transform that into a, a plotter and cut each panel out and stick them together with a, you know, a certain shape that's specified purely by his design software. But in the last you know, five years or so, the, the materials themselves, the, the fibres haven't changed, just the way they're used has really changed. They've gone from, you know, previously they were woven, so where you've got you know, fibres going overlapping just like a, you know, like a bed sheet or any other woven fabric. And then they got turned into yarns and, and laminate, so mylar films, yarns. 
um, mylar film and then sandwiched. So you're using a bunch of twisted um, fibres which go inside the sail. And these days they're, um, they're done in filament form. So you know the, the fibres completely broken down to filaments and then laid out in, in tape form over a full mould and, uh, and laminated or, you know, into one composite membrane. Once the uh, salesman and the customer have worked out exactly where the, the product sits, what they want, if it's for a cruising boat or for a racing boat, that's stage one. So um, once we've established you know, the right material, the right kind of build, you know, it's all this compromise between performance and durability. Then it goes through measurement stage, so detailed measurements, you know, to create a, a 2 or 3D model in the computer, depending on how, how detailed it is. And then, you know, so it gets designed, and then it gets put through a program which uh, does the uh, analysis of the loads. So that's pretty detailed as well. It's a lot of engineering that goes into that. And then from there, it gets um, either put into panel form, so cut out in a plotter, or it gets put into a um, into a membrane where it goes, you know, full size over a full size mould and made in one piece, which is what the race sails tend to be done like. The basic Dacron sails are cross cut panels, so they're just basically going straight across. So, you know, mainsail for a 30 or 40 footer might only have 10 panels in it. But if you do a radial laminate one, it could have 30 or 40 panels in it. Um, and then when you get to spinnakers and genicus, they can have as much as 400 panels in them on a big sail. So it's, it's a lot of panels. And each panel has got a certain amount of shape put into one edge, so you're sticking it curved edge to a straight edge and that's creating the shape. So every single one of those panels will have a certain amount of shape put into it. Well some people think we just cut a big triangle out of a big bit of cloth and bang an island in the corner but it's not quite like that. There's a number of reasons. A cruising boat wants reliability. You know when he can no longer get from A to B with his last sail um, then you know having a reliability and knowing that sail is going to get you there is quite a key component especially when you've got your family on board and you, know, you don't want to have problems because the sail is a pretty key part of a sailboat obviously. For um, for a racing boats, purely it comes down to performance. And there's also a mix in between, there's lots of boats who do a mixture of racing and cruising, but every boat wants a bit of performance. That's, you know, no one wants to have another boat go faster than them. Well, we've been involved with pretty much every railway race. I've been involved with Team New Zealand since the start. And in the sail making scene, everyone knows North Sales New Zealand as part of you know, the pioneers behind the, uh, the computer programming, computer modelling of sail design, really. made a great car. Mag and Turbo made it my car. For 30 years, Boating New Zealand has delivered the best local coverage of launches, trailer boats and yachts with local boats and local conditions. Boating New Zealand from shops, supermarkets, service stations and subscription. Subscribe for the super low price of $87 and get 12 copies of New Zealand's number one boating magazine plus get free access to the online version of the mag. Download the boating magazine app now from iTunes or Google Play free on tablet, computer and phone. Subscribe now for this very special offer. Go to our website or ring 0508 692 628 to subscribe now. If you love watching nzboatshow.tv, then we have a prize for you. Go to nzboatshow.tv slash 2016 Coast Guard, register with your email and mobile, and be in to win one year's free Coast Guard membership courtesy of nzboatshow.tv. Tristram Marine, home of New Zealand's largest boat showroom and manufacturing plant. Tristram Boats, powered by Yamaha. Designed and crafted in New Zealand for all your offshore adventures. Visit tristramboats.com. Ford made a great car. Mag and Turbo made it my car. It's time for part two of Lawrence's look at the amazing Lagoon 42 catamaran. I particularly like this nav helm station down here because if the weather's not great and it's cold and miserable up there, you can come down here and have everything at your fingertips that you have up there. You've got an exactly the same chart plotter that you have upstairs. Uh, it's got, as I 
I told you earlier, it's got this little fob which allows you to alter the autopilot course without having to go upstairs. What I particularly like about it though is that if you are sitting down here and the weather's not great and you're going along with your chart plotter, you can corroborate what you're seeing on the chart plotter by looking out through this window so the view from the nav station is particularly good. Uh, I'm not much of a chef or a cook but uh, even I get excited about the space in this galley. Um, you're spoiled for choice here really. You can, you've got a microwave with an inverter, uh, a three burner a gas cooker over here and a, a gas oven over here. So you've got heaps of uh, possibilities in terms of uh, getting your creative juices flowing when you are preparing food. This vessel has got a fridge, a front loading fridge over here, which is absolutely great to get uh, stuff that you're looking for very easily. It's a, it's a nice spacious one as well. And then it's got the top loading freezer over here. So you've got the best of both worlds really. You don't come in here very often. It's an ideal setup for uh, carrying lots of supplies when you're gonna be going away for a week or a 10 day sale. One of the coolest features on this new 42 is uh, a rain catcher. You can see this channel that they built into the superstructure. When it rains, um, this catches the water running off the sail, off the boom, off the deck, and it runs down into your tank. So they've got a little valve that you obviously leave it uh, closed for a while and it flushes all the salt that it might have caught up in the same time. But once the water's clean and tasting good, you open that valve and it fills up your tanks. It's a great feature. The other thing that I uh, alluded to earlier was this vessel is fitted with a self-tacker. Um, it makes short-handed sailing remarkably easy, uh, particularly when you're going upwind, or you can even jibe for that matter. You just uh, leave it over there and off she goes uh, side to side. It's literally a, a case of flicking from one tack to the next uh, with that self-tacker. But if you do need more wind for downwind sailing, this particular boat has got a little prod. Uh, it's again unusual that you see on a catamaran, for cruising catamaran, and it carries a code zero. Uh, it's a particularly effective sail. We were sailing with a jib initially, doing about six knots. We put the code zero up and we climbed up to nearly nine knots uh, in about uh, 40 knots of wind. The 42 is, uh, as I said, the, the new model of Lagoon. Uh, for me, the most striking difference with this boat is the fact that it is so much more spacious than the 44, which I sailed less than a month ago. Fabulous boat for cruising, very comfortable. To my mind, um, when you get into a boat like this, it's not about getting anywhere fast. You're there for the fun of it. She's a great boat. Our Boat of the Week segment is back, and we're back with the Sundancer 355 Da Vinci. Tonight's boat is a 2004 Sea Ray Sundancer 355 fitted with twin 5 litre 250 horsepower Mercruisers. It's a New Zealand new boat and is offered for sale complete with tender. The boat has a full set of electronics and is in excellent condition. Price to sell at 165000 Phone 027 279 4819 or email andrew.gulland at nzboatshow.tv That's it. 
for this season of NZ Boat Show TV. Thanks to all our viewers. Thanks to all our great sponsors. If you missed an episode or just want to watch your favourite bit again, it's online at nzboatshow.tv. Thanks again for watching. Keep your eyes peeled because Series 2 is coming soon. Made a great car. Mag and Turbo made it my car. For 30 years, Boating New Zealand has delivered the best local coverage of launches, trailer boats and yachts with local boats and local conditions. Boating New Zealand from shops, supermarkets, service stations and subscription. Subscribe for the super low price of $87 and get 12 copies of New Zealand's number one boating magazine plus get free access to the online version of the mag. Download the boating magazine app now from iTunes or Google Play free on tablet, computer and phone. Subscribe now for this very special offer. Go to our website or ring 0508 692 628 to subscribe now. If you love watching nzboatshow.tv, then we have a prize for you. Go to nzboatshow.tv slash 2016 Coast Guard, register with your email and mobile, and be in to win one year's free Coast Guard membership courtesy of nzboatshow.tv. Tristram Marine, home of New Zealand's largest boat showroom and manufacturing plant. Tristram Boats, powered by Yamaha. Designed and crafted in New Zealand for all your offshore adventures. Visit tristramboats.com. Ford made a great car. Mag and Turbo made it my car.